65 Gamer Guy here with a review of Rock and Rope for the ColecoVision. Now, unlike some of my other reviews, this is one game that I have had since it first came out. And I've never been very good at this game. You have two items you can use. You've got a rope that you can throw up to the next level. And you have a flashlight. The flashlight briefly stuns the, the dinosaurs and whatever these yellow things are, I'm not really sure what they are. And when you get one of the white flashing diamonds, and I think they might be eggs, I'm not sure on that, then you become invincible and anything you touch will die. And your goal is to get to the ostrich or whatever that thing is at the top. Now it's sometimes kind of hard to get into a spot where you can shoot your rope and climb up. You have to find the right spot. And these creatures that are all around the screen can do several things. They can uh, shake the rope while you're climbing up it, or they can climb down or up it while you're on it. So makes it a lot harder. Now, I do seem to recall seeing this in the arcade, but I don't recall it being a real popular game. And I, it's been so long since I've seen it, I don't recall what the differences are. Now, sort of like Donkey Kong, you have a bonus timer that counts down. So you have only so much time to complete a level. I'm going to try it again. I guess since this, since I've never really been that good at this game, it's not really one of my favorites. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be that way, but there's games that sometimes are too easy and you get tired of them, and sometimes when they're too hard, you just kind of give up on them.
also seems like these dinosaurs and creatures, you've got these, they have these tunnels, which you can kind of tell by the round openings. It seems like they can move back and forth through them to different places. And that's another thing that makes the game a little bit tougher. Sixty-five Gamer Guy here. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming.